We believe that peace is at hand. We believe that a, an agreement is within sight. Tom, in the final days of the campaign, the last thing George Bush needs is a reminder of the arms for hostages deal with Iran. While Bush was trying to convince voters they can't believe Bill Clinton, his own credibility was in question. Bush has always said he was out of the loop of information when President Reagan approved the arms for hostages swap. But a federal indictment of former Defense Secretary Caspar Weinberger places Bush at a key meeting. We've been talking all morning about last night's revelation that George W. Bush was arrested for drunk driving back in 1976. With such a po potential political bombshell this late in the race, how is Bush handling this? Is he doing a good job? He said he kept it private because he did not want his daughters to know about it. And he's added that he's suspicious about the timing of the revelation. The Thank Gore campaign much. says it had Luke. nothing to do with it. I just think it's a bad situation for him, and if he doesn't get on top of it by Sunday in the talk shows, I think he's going to lose the election. Tonight, a new tape from Osama bin Laden rocks the presidential race just four days out. This shifts the topic from Iraq, where the candidate, the challenger, John Kerry, was hitting the president hard for alleged mismanagement of the war. Now it takes it all back to 9-11, the moment of the president's greatest Americans. heroism. It makes it harder for Kerry, and it shifts the subject matter back to what George Bush is strongest on. So the Bush people may not say that they are happy about this, but I'm sure that they could, they could not be more pleased that this is the subject of the closing days. How do you say October surprise? This is one that could benefit the president. A crisis of confidence on Wall Street what some are calling a cascading crash, day after day of triple-digit losses. There are growing fears of a major global economic slowdown. Investors fleeing a hemorrhaging stock market in search of safe haven. No, he needs to make the case to the American people on the economy that he can do something for them in these troubled times. And I think at this point he's failed to connect. Oh, We're going to help you get it all together. All right. We see clearly a president in control. We see clearly bipartisanship at work. And I think, you know, Caddy brought up, okay, well, what about the, the president's uh, dialogue over the next few days? Well, I think the real challenge is on Romney now. How does Romney get up tomorrow or the next day and start throwing spears?